Joey, this is not your first summer league stint. You, you've been around here a couple times. How do you feel how this is going so far with Toronto? You know, I think this is going pretty well. You know, uh, coach told me to come in here, just rebound and uh, try to score the basket when I can try to score and, you know, try to uh, – Get a double team and kick it out for the three-point shooters like Sonny and Demar, and that's what I've been doing. I've been playing really well this summer. How do you feel about the opportunity here for you in Toronto with Chris Bosh now with the Miami Heat? There's an obvious need for some help inside. Do you feel like this is a team that you can hang around with? Yes, I think I'm finally ready to get my opportunity. You know? That's the biggest thing in the NBA. You just keep playing and keep playing until a team like you and they give you an opportunity to play. And I think uh, Toronto won't give me a chance. You, you've been on some teams that have had a lot of depth inside, and that's prevented you from, from getting your opportunity. But how much did you learn from those? experiences I learned a lot you know when I was at the Houston Rockets I learned a lot about defense by being there with Chuck Hayes then I went to Sacramento and I was with their uh Sharif Adun Rahim he showed me a lot of stuff with the post work and everything like that so I'm just bringing that to Toronto bringing defense and bringing that intensity and try to uh get on board now anybody that has seen Joey Dorsey play before knows that he's a banger he's a rebounder that really gets after it on the defensive end how do you feel like your offensive game has grown since you left the University of Memphis you know I, I've been working on my offense a lot I did that all this summer summer was lift weights and, and work out with Clyde Drexler on my post moves. So my post moves are coming along a lot. You know, they just told me to relax on the lifting. Don't worry about lifting too much because I'm 280. I don't need to lift anymore. So I'm going to get my rebounds and just learn how to uh, where my defense, my defender going to be and try to score the ball. Now there's an obvious youth movement going on in Toronto now with all the changes. Talk about DeMar DeRozan. He's, he's been one of the best players here so far. He's special. You know, I I never seen a guy like that on the wing end. He reminded me of Vince Carter a little bit, you know, with the bounce and everything, getting out running, you know, jumping, dunking on everybody, and I didn't know he could shoot that pretty good. He can shoot pretty good. Then also two other young big guys in Ed Davis and Solomon Alabi. Are they looking to you as kind of the veteran, the guy that's been here before, for advice? You know, Ed asked me uh, the other day after the game, he's like, uh, man, how do you play guys inside? You know, and that was my fault because I should have showed him when we had training camp in Toronto how to guard big guys inside. So we got a day off tomorrow, and that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab him and show him how to guard guys inside on the uh, low post. I saw Coach Triano grab you on your way to the locker room. Does it feel good to have a coach pull you aside and show interest in you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It felt good. It builds your confidence up. You know, Coach said, Joy, uh, you did a great job today. I love the way you pass the ball around, you know, and get guys open shots. So I think I'm contributing to the team a lot, and I'm glad that they are feeling love for me.